frameless with barely any bezels. Uh, it's a really good looking product. I'll go slowly so you can take pictures as well. As many as you want. Uh, most TVs uh, out there are designed with a frame, uh, even a very narrow one, uh, that surrounds the display. Uh, well, this is what the TV4 looks like with its frameless design, and when you put them side by side, you can see the difference is significant, very noticeable. Uh, Mi TV4 looks cleanly designed and seamless from any angle, even the back. Uh, the back cover, for example, is very compact and it only goes up to about 30% of the height of the display. We've also designed a very understated transparent stand for Mi TV4 so that even if you don't mount it uh, onto a wall, it will still look like it's sort of suspended uh, in the air. Let me tell you a bit about the software inside Mi TV4, which is one of my favorite features. Mi TV4 ships with Patchwall, which is a UI layer on top of the Android operating system based on deep learning AI technology. It uses a large amount of metadata about movies, TV shows, and other video content, cross-referenced with your own history of uh, watching content and browsing content to make intelligent recommendations that are tailored to you. And the UI is baked with this uh, personal recommendation technology into it. For example, uh, Dave will see a set of smart recommendations that is completely different from what Mike sees. And because we have the largest content library in China of any um, uh, TV provider, we can draw recommendations from a very, very large number of titles. So these are very, very meaningful recommendations. The Patchwall UI uses an adaptive grid that's inspired by modern uh, magazine layouts. What's great about this system is that the dimensions of content tiles can vary from full height or full width uh, to half or quarter size to emphasize the content that's most of most interest to you. So more relevant content will look bigger and will be presented in a bigger tile. Another awesome patchwall UI feature is infinite scrolling. Basically, you get unlimited content recommendations with the most relevant at the top. You could theoretically, by the way, scroll forever, but the point here is to offer you more choice. The more content you want to watch, uh, it'll be there for you. We've put a lot of thought into designing a patch wall, and we believe it is a substantial improvement over any existing TV content UI, and um, can't wait for you to try it for yourselves. Now, one of our biggest innovations, going back to hardware, in building smart TVs, is the approach we take in designing modular TVs. Now, what is a modular TV? Well, a typical TV ships with all of its electronics integrated into the case. In other words, the display and the motherboard ship together in one box, essentially. At best, you might get a separate sound bar. And if you want to upgrade a TV like this, you need to replace the whole thing. That's how it works today. Now consider that 80% of the cost of a TV is just the display alone. The motherboard, the electronics, accounts for only 20%. But that's where most of the new functionality is when you're upgrading, including maybe a faster CPU, more memory, smart features, better software, etc. It's all in the 20%. Modular TVs simply separate the TV display from the electronics. This is the approach that we pioneered over a year ago, and we use it for all of our larger screen TVs. So you can separately upgrade display and motherboard. So for example, if you bought a 65 inch TV last year, and you wanna get new HDR functionality plus a much faster CPU, all you need to do is buy the new integrated TV bar and use it with your existing display. And you get all of those features for a fraction of the cost. Uh, modular TVs are also more compact because you've moved all of the stuff out of the way, so they're more tasteful looking. They make your living room look a lot better. 
Uh, this is what the integrated bar for MeTV4 